Hey y'all, it's Caitlin, pronouns she, her, and I got a pin mail from Jennifer Loves Disney Pins uh, on Instagram. I have been loving uh, using uh, Jennifer for my pin pickups. Uh, she's, she's very, very sweet. Now, this uh, order did come in the beginning of August, part of it did. Um, and I'm filming this literally the end of August. Uh, there's other pins in here that I bought off box lunch that I just put in the same envelope to bring downstairs, so I'm having to separate them. Um, but she was delayed in shipping uh, for very uh, good reasons, because it seemed... It, it was one of those things where, you know, one thing happens, then everything else happens. So I, I understand her being delayed. I had zero issue with that. Okay, those are the two for another video. And then these ones. All right. Yeah, that's it. But then she ended up having a pin sale uh, because her her and her wife's uh, cat uh, has to have surgery. I'm pretty sure it'll be the surgery will be completed by the time this video goes up. Um, so they had a live sale for some of their pins from their own collection, and I bought two of them. So I have five pins total right here, and yeah, they're all kind of Halloweeny themed. <laughs> I mean, three of them are definitely Halloween, and the other two are villains, so Halloween themed. So let's start with this one, because this is the only one that's, like, of its own. So Disney has a bunch of pins with this style being released right now for Halloween. Some of them are up on the website, but you have, like, a lot of the classic characters, you know, Mickey, Minnie, Stitch, Goofy, Pluto, all of them. And here is Winnie the Pooh. Now, a lot of people were asking if this glows in the dark, and a lot of people were saying no because it didn't look very glow in the dark, but on Disney's, uh, the Disney store site, it does say glow in the dark. So the moon does glow in the dark. I don't know how much this was, I forget. And it says yellow on the back. So I can't tell you <laughs> much of anything there, but there is the back of the Winnie the Pooh pin. But this is absolutely adorable. As you can see, it's Winnie the Pooh in a little witch hat inside of a jack-o'-lantern then it's got another pumpkin beside it and then a bunch of bats flowing behind them in the moon silhouette it is so pretty i love this so much i love i mean you guys know by now i love winnie the pooh and he's laughing and it's just so cute i probably won't test the glow in the dark feature right now because i don't really care but if you do care it it does glow in the dark so i don't know if is this one? Okay, I might have to test the glow in the dark. I don't even know if I have my UV light down here anymore. I honestly don't know. But then there was this set of trick or trick <laughs> sets for the Disney villains. So they had Maleficent, Hades, Yzma, Ursula, and then if you bought the pack of all of them together, then you also got the Evil Queen. The Evil Queen was the only one not sold separately. Um, but I only wanted Maleficent and Hades. And these are a little bit heavy. So there is Maleficent, and the cauldron is 3D. So you can see right there. Very, very cool. These are 20 bucks a piece. Her off of here. Oh, I didn't know that they were stained glass too. Crap, that is so cool. Okay, there's the back. And you can see through it right now where, you know, you can see the green, obviously, all that. I didn't know that that part was see-through with stained glass effect that is so cool so all like the magic behind them is stained glass that is awesome i love it but there you go maleficent with that green stained glass now behind her that i know of that, that awesome amazing scowl that she has and that bubbly cauldron and she is putting her scepter to use that is so cool and the font on the cauldron that says trick or trick has that like drippy font to it absolutely cool now let's go look at the hades one maleficent was the only one i mean they have to include maleficent it's maleficent right but i will say maleficent's the one that probably doesn't belong in the set <laughs> mainly because all the rest of them are using like their potions their magic uh ingredients for it not just like a scepter <laughs> you can see the hades here let me put it here but again, that purple behind him is the same stained glass effect as that green behind Maleficent. But you can see he's holding up the potion that was used to drain Hercules of most of his uh, immortality. 
It's so cool. And if you look really close in the potion, you can see the little skulls <laughs> floating around it. But it's the exact same cauldron that's on the Maleficent pen. So cool. He's, again, got that uh, creepy grin on his face. Classic Hades. Absolutely amazing. I love that. And of course, Yzma's holding up the llama potion. Ursula's holding up the little uh, potion bottle with the little creature in there. And I want to say that Evil Queen is holding up the poison apple. I can't really remember, fully honest. Okay, so those are the ones that Jennifer picked up for me in Disneyland. These other two are mystery pins that was in her collection that, again, she uh, was selling in her live sale on Instagram. And this one I have been wanting. I was considering asking her to pick up some boxes of this set for me. Um, because I wanted to try for this Maleficent pin so badly. But they had a Disney Villains uh, set earlier this year. And it was all in the same kind of style. And again, it's a mystery pin, so no backer card. But it's the same kind of elongated style here with each of the villains on it. So let me put this on the thing so you can see it a little bit better. So there is Maleficent posing very sophisticatedly. <laughs> almost in like a little window almost and then you can see the dragon head on top the purple flames behind her and the green border very very maleficent and as i tilt it you can see those flames catching the light like this is just a gorgeous pen very very pretty love that one that might be my well it's between that one and the winnie the pooh that's my favorite here and then there was a nightmare before christmas uh, pin set. This one's a bit older. Let's see. 2022, I think it says right there. I think it says 2022. It's too small for really for me to tell, but it doesn't have the, it's old enough that there's no, uh, rhinestone on the back, but it is oogie boogie with the snake eye dice. <laughs> like the dice says the snake eyes on it. It's so cute. And this is a lot bigger of a pin than I was expecting. I knew what size this pin was. This Oogie Boogie is a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. It's so cool. I love that he's laughing. <laughs> I don't know why. I used to not care about Oogie Boogie. Like, whenever I collect Nightmare Before Christmas, it's mainly Jack, Sally, and Zero. But lately, I've been collecting Oogie Boogie, too. <laughs> not a ton. Like, not overly. But, like, I like Oogie Boogie now. <laughs> but... I didn't dislike them before, I just didn't collect them as much. But I am loving all five of these pins. I will link uh, Jennifer in the description box below. Uh, she and her wife go to Disneyland a couple times a week. Uh, and these are all at cost uh, pickups. So uh, I'm basically, she's, she's literally just making a few cents off each pin sold because she's rounding up to the next dollar. Um, so you pay the price of the pin, the tax, and the shipping. That's it. And I know, like, this video isn't going to come out for a while. It might not come out until October. <laughs> it's the end of August, and I have videos lined up till the end of September already that I've been keep pushing back. Some of them I have since June. But <laughs> it's, it's weird. Um, but I know... Uh, this past week she was picking up like popcorn buckets and stuff as well so I'm hoping I can get some of the Christmas ones when they come out when she if she is still doing it by then hopefully um, but yeah I have been loving uh, any interaction with her she's she's very 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 sweet much a sweetheart so definitely go check her out let me know which of these pins is your favorite. Again, it's between this Maleficent and this Winnie the Pooh for me. Um, but I love every single one of them. Let me know what your favorite is. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like always, it's a community competition. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.